Today I'm going to show you what's inside of Math Level 1 from Lessons for a Living Education by Masterbooks. So um, I have not personally used this level yet. We are going to use Level 2 for my son who is starting first grade. Um, he is almost seven and um, I actually bought Levels 1 and Levels 2 because I wasn't completely sure uh, which one would be best for him. And after looking page through um, all of level one and all of level two, uh, we had already covered everything that was in level one in his kindergarten with the good and the beautiful curriculum that we used last year. So um, I just really wanted to try uh, master books this year. I really like the layout of um, some of the story base. It's shorter, a um, little bit less parent involved. So that's why we are trying that. But for those of you interested in level one, I'm gonna do a flip through for you of just what the pages are like and what to expect inside. So uh, maybe you have a first grader who is um, new to some of these concepts, then you would just need to probably start here. Um, or you could use it as a quick review going pretty fast if they already know a lot of these concepts and then you could slide into book two um, sometime during the middle of the year. So um, the lessons are a little bit shorter here. So um, that would be up to you. And Masterbooks also has a placement test as well. So um, first thing I wanna show you is just the scope and sequence here in level one. So you could follow their schedule exactly for five days a week. Um, you could leave it in the book and just go to the next lesson if you're not doing five days a week, or you could um, tear out a week's worth at a time and put it in a folder. Some people have said that it's a little easier to tear out the pages. So you can go ahead and pause. And um, the thing about master books that a lot of people like um, is that everything comes in one book. You're not going to have um, a teacher's manual and you just get this one book for everything um, for the year. And it's very inexpensive. This, I believe, was $30 for one level. So before we go ahead and flip through, I wanna show you a few things in the back that you will use during these lessons. So um, some of the directions recommend uh, laminating because these would be um, things that you might use often during the lessons, especially the Place Value Village, which I'll show you here. So there's an addition mat, number cards, and these are just things that they use throughout the lesson. Horizontal addition mat. Now here, um, here is the hundreds house, and this is the visual that Master Books is gonna use over and over again. Um, the ones house, tens house, and the hundreds. So um, these would be good to laminate or um, place inside of a sheet protector if you're gonna use them because You'll be using these a lot. So getting started with just flipping through for you. Every single lesson is going to start with a story and at this age they probably can't read the story on their own so that would be parent-led. Masterbooks has a lot of tracing involved which I appreciate um, not all math curriculums are going to have you write out the numbers as much as Master Books does, I noticed. Um, so every day is going to have about two to three pages. Um, you'll have a story and then you'll have some kind of exercise to work through. starting with zero through 10 here. Shapes, writing the number by group of triangles or rect rectangles, yeah, rectangles there. Copy work. Um, so you can kind of gauge this as the beginning. Um, It'll tell you day 14, day 15, day 15, and then you have your next lesson here. 
So it always starts with the story. A little bit of coloring, a little bit of drawing, and then another story. And I am really curious to see, um, since this is our first year doing master books, how my kids respond to these stories. Some kids love them and do really well. Other kids want to just kind of plow through, maybe don't have the attention span for it, um, and want to do just more uh, worksheet style math. So I'm really curious to see how my kids respond to this. Um, hoping that this will be a way to just keep it really fun. But this would be where I would start my kindergartner um, based on where she is at. Um, she's starting the good and the beautiful level K and that's um, a different presentation of most of these same concepts I'm looking at here in level one of master books. So copying, drawing the correct number of circles next to the numbers, draw a rectangle, draw a triangle, draw a circle. Here's where you will have um, my place value village where you would have to get out the houses I showed you in the back. And no manipulatives come with this, so you'll have to use whatever you have at home. So you could use rocks or beans, or um, you could buy anything that you wanted to represent addition and subtraction. Practicing counting groups of 10. Copying the numbers in the 30s and 40s. Practice with patterns and shapes. Um, what comes before, what comes um, before, what comes after. So these are all concepts my son did in kindergarten through the good and the beautiful. Um, and I think every curriculum just has a level and you have to do a placement um, assessment for your kid where they're at. So it's not necessarily that level one should be first grade or level two should be second grade. Um, you might just need to start on the appropriate level and work your way up. And because master books does tend to be a little bit lighter on um, less busy work, you if you want to do more, you can. Um, they also have, I'm really excited about this, master books um, I saw online. Have, they have an extra workbook for more practice problems if you feel like your kid just needs a little bit more paper time with you know doing more of these problems than what you see on here so I plan to get that um, for my first grader this year, just in case I want to look inside of it and um, be able to share that with you. But also that way, if there's something that I feel like he just needs a little more practice with, I can use their extra practice pages. Getting into the fifties, more stories. more counting and grouping by 10, tracing numbers, addition, um, more place value village. The one um, drawback for me personally with these workbooks, um, as much as I love them and just their um, very short lessons, which I appreciate, um, I do notice that there is a lot less of the color in here than there is in the good and the beautiful that we used. So I was really drawn to, um, there's color there. There's every story page has their color, but the worksheets are very black and white. And, um, which is fine, but I definitely um, just 
noticed that right off the bat from our old curriculum that we did last year. There were lots of vibrant colors. And so now we're getting into telling time um, with here, it looks like you're starting just on the hour. So we also did that last year for kindergarten with my son in The Good and the Beautiful. So this just looks right on par for what I tend to think kindergartners are learning. But once again, if you're, it's where your kid is at. So it's not necessarily grade level when you're homeschooling. You just need to figure out what they need and go from there forward. More telling time. Now you're getting into simple fractions. Write the fraction under each one. The first one is done for you. Write the numbers. Cut or divide each of these shapes into the fractions. Baking. subtracting, more time. Subtracting one, we'll start to see the pattern there. And again, this would be um, a really good time to get manipulatives for any of these. If your child just can't really see what's nine minus three and they're not getting it, uh, that's when I would grab blocks or rocks or beans and um, just physically separate the numbers. Tracing. More shapes practice. Learning about what makes a triangle. So this is more practice. This is good for um, reinforcing the ones column and the tens column. That's actually something we may need a little bit more review on with my son because I don't feel like we covered that um, a ton last year. So day 169 coming up here. Um, this is one thing my son loves, things like this, um, where you're doing games and um, feel like there's a little bit less of that in master books, but all right. Reviewing numbers one to 100, writing numbers one to 100, and the end of the book into your place value village. So I hope that helps you to understand what's in math level one of master books. Um, you can always take their placement online if you're not sure and um, go ahead and I will also be posting a flip through of level two if you wanna see the inside of that.